Hi everybody. Hope you all are doing well. I just thought I would come on on this Sunday night and make a different kind of video for you guys. For everybody. Um, and Zuri's not going to be in this video. She's actually quote-unquote taking a nap right now. So, um, and the majority of my house is actually sleeping. So, I'm going to try to get my voice down while I do this. But, um, hope you all are doing well. And I just thought I'd come on and talk for a while. Um... I've had a really busy weekend slash week. I've been studying for my last final exam ever. It's actually crazy to think that I'm almost done college. I've been going for nine years, so it's been quite a long but very beneficial experience. Um, I've had a few people ask me to share with you all my major and I'm taking business but what I actually will graduate with is a certificate in business administration. Now usually this is a two year program, but because of my physical challenges and needs and things, I've had to, to structure it so that I take one course a semester um, for me with work and family obligations and all of the rest of what life brings, I've found that the best way to keep my life balanced and manageable. So, yeah, I take one course a semester, and I've enjoyed that experience. And it definitely cut down my stress, because at the beginning, I tried to take two courses per semester, and it just was too physically taxing for me. So. I decided that was not the best option, and so yeah, um, also I should mention I haven't been studying business for nine years. I started out in the Associative Arts program. I took actually two years of Spanish, well, conversational and written Spanish, which I found very interesting. I love language, and I love um, learning new languages and traveling so that was a really neat, neat experience and I had one of the best profs ever so really meaningful experience for me and because I do come from a French Canadian back Spanish was an easy jump for me so yeah unfortunately I've lost most of the Spanish I've learned over the years just because where I live there isn't a lot of people that speak Spanish around but um, I do still use it when, when my family and I travel or for things like that so uh, and it does actually come back the more that I'm in that environment and speaking it so that was a useful and fun experience. And then I switched over to business because I actually want my end goal is to not only to continue to teach about how to help people with special needs and how to interact with them and those programs that I've designed but I want to get into advocacy and public speaking 
on behalf of individuals with a wide range of special needs and challenges. It really is where my heart lies and for me I see that there needs to be a lot of changes, especially in Canadian government as far as special needs and the advocacy for that goes and what's available is really, really great and I love living in Canada and being a Canadian. I'm very proud of that, but I find we have, we've come such a long way vis-a-vis integration and all of it, but I also think that there's a long way to go and I really hope that I can help with that. Um, Anyways, um, so that's why I first got involved with the business because I, there isn't really a course that I could take on public speaking or advocacy and being a woman and also being um, disabled or having special needs myself. I found, I thought that um, the business degree might give me some weight and also useful information and knowledge that I can tailor to where I'm headed. Um, and that in original intuition turned out to be right. And even though it's only a business administration certificate I will be graduating with, the experiences and the the courses I've been able to take and how I've been able to kind of pick and choose the ones that I really felt drawn to have been great and um, yeah so that's why I'm probably not gonna be on here as much as I would like in the next few weeks um, just because I am devoting a lot of time to studying and just finishing this year with um, a good good ending and getting making sure that all the credits that I need to graduate are in place and my marks are high enough, etc. Um, but I do plan on a few major videos for you guys and fingers crossed I will be able to do those. Um, one in particular but I'm not gonna share that now because just in case something crops up and I'm not able to do it I don't want to get anyone's hopes up this time but um yeah. Oh, the other thing I wanted to share with you, all of you is that I am, well, not reborn expecting, but um, teddy bear expecting, I guess you could call it. I don't collect them per se, but um, we moved to where I live now. I live, I still live with my, my rent from my parents. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm not out on my own yet, so <laughs> they have been gracious enough to allow me to rent a room in their home, and I love living with my family. So that's been great. But yeah, um, anyway, when we were moving from our old place, um, a lot of my childhood toys got ruined and wet and so yeah <laughs> but um I one of them was my main childhood teddy bear that I basically got when I was maybe six or seven and it was completely destroyed and that made me really sad and unfortunately it was a bear that I never thought I would ever see again.
which is, like I said, made me kind of sad and just nostalgic because you want to save those things for your nieces or, and for me particularly, if I ever have children, I want to, to, to have that for them. So that was a big, a bit of a disappointment. Anyways, um, I was on eBay the other day and I found it. The exact same teddy bear that I had had was selling on eBay and I managed to get it for a really, really good deal. So I am super excited about that. And it shipped as of three days ago. So it, it's saying it could be here between the 8th of April and the 16th. So not too far off. Um, it does take longer to ship internationally, which is a bit of a disappointment. But yeah, anyway, I am super excited about that. And if you want, I can do a box opening of that. Just let me know. I know it's not reborn or jury related, but I just thought I would share anyways. Um, and I want to say thank you again to all of you for the wonderful comments, messages, support, and if there is any videos that you would like to see me do with Zuri or otherwise or any questions you have for me, please don't hesitate to ask. I will try my utmost to answer them and to do the types of videos you guys want to see. So I'm still on my super, super obnoxious computer camera. Yes. Um, but once I get some more time and school has wound down or whatever, I hope that I can figure out this GoPro of mine because it really is a great camera. It will allow me to do a lot more, but I just haven't had a spare minute. So, um, anyways, I will... Stop nattering at all of you now, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.